Today we're going to learn about sculpture. Sculpture is any art creation that is three-dimensional, or 3D, meaning you could hold it or touch it or walk around it, because there are many sides, not just one. Something that is 3D has form. That means you can tell what direction the light's coming from. Look at the upper left-hand corner of this sculpture. You can see that the colors are lighter. That's because they're closer to the light source, which in this case is the sun. As you get further and further away from the light source, the colors get darker, causing shadows on the object. The sculpture can also cause what is called a cast shadow, which means a shadow spills onto the surface below. The cast shadow on this sculpture is directly below the object. That means the sun is almost coming from overhead, since you can hardly see the cast shadow just underneath the object. An object with form also allows you to see the texture. Texture is how something feels. So in this case, this sculpture is made out of sand, so it should be able to feel grainy to the touch. We are able to see that with the form. So the light's coming from this direction, some of those grains of sand, divots, and other things in the sculpture are visible and shows us how that sculpture feels. Now, when you draw or paint, you can also create an object that looks like it has form, but this is just the illusion of form. True 3D form is a sculpture, something that you can hold in your hands or walk around. You can't hold an object from a drawing, but you can hold a sculpture in real life. Another type of sculpture is a clay sculpture. An artist starts with a lump of clay, and they mold it and shape it with their hands or special tools, they create texture, and all sculptures have form. When a clay sculpture is finished, it's put in something called a kiln. A kiln is a very large oven with shelves on the inside. You can stack clay objects on the shelves. Here's another example of a kiln here. When you've got the kiln loaded up, this very large lid is then closed and sealed. And it has to be sealed because it gets very hot on the inside. Your kitchen oven gets about 500 degrees at its hottest, and that's only for a recipe that needs it to get this hot. A kiln oven can get up to 1800 degrees. That's pretty hot, as you can see, flames forming, and the color of your clay is changing to the warm colors of the sun or warm colors of fire because that clay is changing into a hardened substance that eventually can be painted. By the way, it takes about a day for your clay to cool off once it's been fired in the kiln. Have fun working with clay! If you'd like to follow along on a pinch sculptures lesson, click the link above. The sample project is the dog you see here, although you can use the steps to make any type of small animal with a head, tail, four legs, and texture. See you soon!